Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Well, Gwen is very, very strong. So uh, this should have the wolf seal of approval this it time definitely around. Does, yes. So she is going to be up against the Nocturne again. Same top matchup as we saw in game number one. Uh, he's uh, eaten through his jungle very, very efficiently. Very going to put five points of a strike into that minion. And he's looking for his first reset as well. Drake does go very comfortably. I think this is uh, this is great from DRX to actually play around the uh, weak laning phase of the Akali. They've done it pretty dang well. Is uh, Rich not going to be able to get over the wall? As, of course, that flash was just taken down. Good equalizer comes in, though, as Peanut wanting to get rid of the Gwen. And, yep, ain't going to be saved this time around. As it is going to be a one-for-one, one, but True Shot Barrage coming on in here. And there's the follow flash. Peanut, he don't miss those. As Gauri not going to be able to find the same play that Sulka found Top on side, and Kingan knows exactly what's going on here. That's an equalizer put down um, for fun, by the looks of things. As Gauri going to dance around this one, Rich comes in. There's the paranoia. They just waited for the mist to part, and Gauri's going to dash on through and pick that one up. Rich tanks the turret for exactly the right time. And that was a really nice dive. This is the proactive play that we've been wanting from Nongsham for so uh, long. Okay. Gauri going to be able to backflip his way away, and Pyoshik's like, what? Champion. Equalizer is still available, of course. True Shot Barrage can augment that as well from the bottom side, as we can see. Gauri does have Teleport that is currently on the top side of the map. As this could be a 50-50. Pyoshik taking a fair bit of damage. There's the Teleport. Equalizer to block it off. I love it from Nongshim. Immediate exhaust onto Rich to stop him as Bao. He needs to be dealt with, and Gauri's going to do exactly that. Dashes on out. Bao's going to be taken down. Another beautiful play from the Akali. She will be taken out in the end, but she killed the Jinx, and that was her job as Dr. Arm just looking to clean this one up. Double kill does eventuate as Sulka is there to throw out a Shock Blast, but that ain't going to do it. And here is the Cherry on top, and is a Mountain Drake going over to Nongshim. It feels like these these moments for Nongshim, that when we see these moments, you could see the glimpses of greatness. You could see why they're drafting like this, because the execution is good in these critical team fights sometimes, right? It feels like one out of three... We thought she was scary in spring season, but... Apparently, uh, we were wrong about the power levels. Right now, she is she's upset. She's making uh, life health or 80 carries and any squishy DPS characters that uh, that are facing her. And but it, it, it's not just a Kali in this case. It's the power of the equalizer that comes through from range, right? And yeah, I mean, Pe Peanut starting off that fight with that perfect sort of zoning equalizer to make sure that he could split the fight. As we've just got a dead Jace in the mid lane. Ah, looks like Kali is uh, past level 11 and is now able to do a lot of work as uh, Pyoshik is going to get missed by the Q. That was one of those question marks. Dr. Arm is so greedy. Well, see whether he gets that Arcane Shift back available again. I don't think he's going to be able to, but Kellen has so many heals and Pyoshik has to get devoured and that means that is an extraordinarily dead Jinx in the back, back line. And now, Gauri, he comes forward when the Akali doesn't need to do anything at the initial fight and two kills go down. You know that the tidy up's going to be there. And Sulker and Kingen are like, what happened to my team? Yeah, this is really, really scary, too. I mean, this actually could be a Baron play. They're going to look to group for it. I mean, the damage is there at, at this stage with two down. I yeah, mean, I mean, I don't, down, like, I don't two think they have. Down. Like, you can't fight this. Nope. They don't have much of an opportunity here. Sulka not even going to be uh, throwing down the teleport for it or anything like that. Pyoshik's still dead for seven seconds. Pyoshik being dead means that you know that you can take this and then rotate down to make the Drake play on top of it. You can see Sulka's grouping there, or trying. he's calling for the groups there. You can see the pings coming through. King in his ear. So they are going to have the contest for the fight, but it's not like you just lose this straight up. Although if you back, I guess you do. I think they could have definitely just walked down, but... Yep, I mean, that's soul point, but I think that uh, Nongshim are more focused on now extending that gold lead, getting some more cash in their wallets, and then using it to take down DRX's Nexus. And uh, I like that any plan, there's definitely a world where Nongshim actually go down and contest the Drake, but they didn't have all their ultimates. A lot of their tools were used in that last skirmish, so they play it safe rather than, you know, risk throwing a lead here. But it does mean DRX have a little bit more to work with in this game now. Yeah, it's not too bad. They can at least go for some sort of soul win condition. As, uh, okay, Equalizer goes down, Bao and Becker in a whole host of trouble. True Shot Barrage as well. Yeah, Bao almost just straight up died to Equalizer alone, I think. Equalizer, True Shot Barrage, and uh, yeah, that was a afterthought, and the Jinx was almost dead. I think I said Kellen, by the way, earlier when I was dunked off, but my apologies. Kellen, sure. Kellen's done good stuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> he was the one doing the saving, but he was not the one on camera. Rich, 
Now he's just going to be a little bit spooky, it. and uh, Pyoshik is going to run away. No worries there. Okay, now these turrets are starting to fall down, as we saw in the turret, taken pretty comfortably there by Dokdam and Peanut. Now at least, Bao is able to go back to base, but with no flash, I mean, even though you have a Tom Kench, like, there's no yeah. flashes on the bottom side, and it's just so dangerous. Is all right, yeah, Pyoshik is dead. When there's an Udyr... An ulti. Nope, he is able to get out. When an Udyr almost doesn't get away. <laughs> when he <laughs> almost true. doesn't get away, you're so, starting to get a little bit worried. Well, now Peanut is running away, but Kingin, yeah, unfortunately, a bit of more than he could chew. Bit of desperation there. Look at it. Lock down the Rumble. That might now, actually oh, be okay, yeah, Bao in a bunch of trouble. I mean, we're only 30 seconds left on this Baron buff. It's going to cost them a lot of control over these inhibitors, but if anybody else dies on DRX while they're trying to defend these inhibitors, I think the game ends. Like, Nongshim are at that point. We're only 25 minutes into the game, but they are so fed. They've got in the Kali, who is ready to party in this base. You cannot afford to even defend these inhibitors. I think you have to wait. You just have to back off and let King and respawn. Yeah, but I mean, how much, how, how long are you going to do that for, right? Are you going to back off? and let your Nexus turrets tank up the aggression, right? Because now that's uh, that's what's seeing the uh, the issues right here, as we can see two minion waves being pushed in. The Baron is, has just worn off a couple of seconds ago as Peanut trying to burn Kyoshik, but Kyoshik not too worried. Sokka's back. Dr. I'm so greedy. This is definitely very far forward, but Shock Blast barely denting the Ezreal that's built like a tank right now. Kyoshik in the perfect spot to try to deny some retreats here, but Nongshim are still going to be able to force their way out of the base. So close to actually trapping the of uh, stuff you want to get away from. Okay, that, that was a lot of resources to me to kill that with the Super Minion. Yeah, that is a lot. Nongshim are just going to group and they're like, no, 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 forget the Drake. You can actually just win this game right now. They're that far ahead. For. Some rockets flying on through here as Bao's trying to utilize that range advantage that he absolutely has this game. The dive is just so strong. True Shot Barrage comes down, equalizer, decent positioning, but not maximum value. Now we'll see whether DRX can just restabilize and go for a re-engage without the carpet available. Exhaust onto Dark Arm. They're unable to fully commit to this one. The lack of engage on DRX is so dangerous. Nongshim can decide when to do anything this game as the wish comes through, and Nongshim are back up to full health once again. This looks like game over. Yeah, which team has the fountain here, Wolf? It feels like it's <laughs> Nongshim because they just they just don't lose health. That's going to be the Akali locking down the Udyr, and I think that DRX may have ran out of Ergs as the Jinx takes the Akali down, but the Nexus is not going to be so lucky. 9,000 gold the lead in the end as Nongshim do it again. Another 2-1 victory. Very, very strong game here from Nongshim where you see